I'm out fishing with Gone Fishing in Manaki, Ontario, and I'm super excited to share with you guys the awesome technique. We've got over 150 fish, and what we're doing with Chris is we're bottom bouncing. Now, it's a very common technique people use everywhere, but he definitely has it perfected. And I think this is the perfect time to walk you guys through A to Z on how to set up a bottom bouncer, when to use it, and how to perfect it so you can catch more fish. Chris is an absolute fantastic guide. Highly recommend checking him out. Information below, and hopefully you guys will learn a lot in this video on how you guys can catch more fish and maybe even book a trip with him. So. A to Z, here we go. So we're up in Big Sand, it's deep water. We're coming up on the, some structure here and I'm just looking for arches, preferably some bigger ones. There's a walleye there. We'll see if we can find a few more piled up together here. And once we locate them, we'll drop a marker and uh, the live and then get right on top of them and try to target these fish, headhunt them. Here's here we go here. So here we are. Here's some walleyes. Not a ton of them, but there's some stacked up right here. So I'm gonna throw my marker out, mark the fish, and then we're gonna go over them with the bottom bouncers. Uh, dragging two leeches and try to pick these guys up off the bottom. Mark, see how this one's thinner? Either that's gonna be a thicker, fatter fish, or it's my, it's more under the boat and this one's just a thinner fish or it's off to the side and not directly under the boat so it's not picking up as clearly as it is these fish. We located some fish on the traditional 2D sonar. They're sitting on the bottom here. We drove around until we found them and now we're going to snipe sh shoot them with the live. You can see them right here piled up and hopefully Shauna might even get hooked up here because I think one's chasing her bait as we speak. And you can use this whether you're bottom bouncing or drop shotting or pitching jigs at them. You can see where the fish are and then send your bait in the direction they are laying. Um, we first get on the spot, I'll throw down my Altrex with the live uh, sonar on it and then we'll target them, get right on top of them. Then we'll lo throw down the stationary uh, live scope and target them accordingly. Whether we bottom bounce and chase them around or pitch jigs at them. You can see there's some fish all on the bottom right there, some ahead there. See them all? Oh, they're, they're stacked right up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna aim the boat in that direction, try to run these bottom bouncers over them. See if we can get hooked up. Here we are bottom bouncing on uh, Big Sand Lake with a one and a half ounce bouncer, size two hook, and a three to four foot snell targeting walleyes. Going at about 0.2 to 0.5 mile an hour to catch these bad boys. Still looking for a real giant, but we've been doing a number on these ones. So there's the size two hook, three foot snell, one and a half ounce bouncer. And on the hook, we're running double leeches. When do you ever use a longer, a longer snow or a shorter snow? Um, if I'm fishing a lot of underground brush, rocks, trees, stuff where the snell can get hung up in, I'll go to a short, you know, foot and a half, two foot snell. Longer one if I'm moving faster and I want that bait running high at suspended fish. I like, to, ow, sorry, the walleye got me. I like to use a six, eight medium rod with a fast action tip. I find will a little too sensitive, a little too like flimsy, you know, because you, I don't know, when you go, when you feel that light bite, I like to just lift the tip of the rod up and see if there's weight. And with the extra fast, it kind of, it'll stay bent with the weight of the bouncer. With the fast, I can still feel uh, the bouncer and the bite and set that hook. Running these bouncers, I have your arm straight out and you don't want to adjust for turning or anything of the boat. You just want the bouncer to run as if your hand's a rod holder and keep it straight <laughs> and do not lift or drop it excessively like you can kind of lift to feel the bottom and touch the bottom so you know that you're running close to the bottom but you don't want to jig it like a jig it'll end up getting tangled up twisted up and it just then your bait doesn't look as natural as it should because that's what we're trying to do whether you're using leeches minnows worms that bait looks so natural with a small hook running behind the yeah, as soon as you hit bottom, stop it, reel up, make it so you can feel the weight of the bouncer on the rod tip, 
and then just hover just above bottom. And you know, you always wanna kinda of tap down, check, make sure you're running close to bottom, but you always wanna be above bottom so that you'll feel the weight of the fish or the bite as it hits. Cause if you have your bouncer dragging on the bottom, it's gonna be harder to feel that tug on your hook. Right? Just hold it straight out and let the boat do all the work. As long as your boat control is good and you're going in the right direction, that bouncer will run flawless and it won't get all twisted up around the line and stuff. Cause you wanna keep a little bit of movement going forward to keep the bait stretched out so it's not getting twisted and tangled. But you always want it as vertical as possible so that your bait is running true and flat and close to the bottom. And there is a couple of tricks you can do too, like you can get a, a worm blower and blow up your worms or blow up your leeches and run them higher in the water column if you're seeing more sus fish suspended higher in the column. This is what we look for. I like to use bottom bouncers when I see fish scattered on a hump or a flat or an area. If I see them concentrated, then I like to hit them with a jig or a drop shot. But if I see them where they're, you know, you got one 10 foot here, 10 foot here away and eight foot over here, then I kind of want to just go over them and work them and cover ground to try to catch more fish. This is what we look for. Is it better? Shut up, feedback. Oh, it's big, it's big! Oh, yeah! Oh, he isn't even breathing! <laughs> oh, good deal. So, bottom bouncing with live leeches. Finally got into some uh, bigger class fish and uh, this one is an absolute beauty. Been working hard all day. Chris has been working hard trying to find big fish for us. Uh, yesterday, over 100 walleye, and now we're getting into some big caliber, caliber fish today. So thank you, Chris, gone. So yeah, so when they take it real deep like that, you just come through the gill plates. Be gentle sliding in there. You can use any pliers, it doesn't have to be forceps. Then you can get on the hook if you can see in there. Get on the hook and then just flip it out of their stomach. And then the hook comes out nice and easy. And got your leeches to boot. Perfect. Two days with Chris gone. Can't thank Chris enough for having us. We are up at Manaki, Ontario, and the walleye fishing has been excellent. Uh, the, the last two days we pulled in well over 150 fish. We learned some interesting, excellent techniques from Chris as well. Bottom bouncing being our favorite with live leeches. This fishery is new to both Nicole and I, so it was nice to come down and uh, have Chris gone guide us, take us, take us around, take us to all the hot spots. And he definitely worked hard for the last two days, keeping us on fish all day long. And uh, can't thank him enough. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you. <laughs>